Well, straight ahead, a study in smarts. How did one Alabama family get four kids into college by the age of 12? Oh, and they're not finished yet. The Brainy Bunch, later in the CNN Newsroom. So is it nature? Is it nurture? Is it in the water? He had to be in the sixth grade this year, but 11-year-old Heath Harding is a college freshman. And he's not the first member of his homeschooled family to start a degree by the age of 12. He's the fourth. In fact, his parents have written a book about their method. Heath and his sister Serena join us from Montgomery, Alabama. 16-year-old Serena is a senior, by the way, at Huntington College this year. Oh, yeah, and she's also applying to medical school. Serena, why are you setting your, your goals so low? <laughs> Well, I know what I'm interested in, I know what I want, and I'm just striving for it to get there as, as soon as I can because I want to pursue my dream. And of course, I'm kidding. I'm being completely facetious. You're absolutely amazing, as is your brother and your entire family. What, what do you think uh, has created this in your family? Are all of you geniuses, do you think, or do you think it's mom's homeschooling? I don't believe that we're geniuses, but that we have two really loving parents who found a method that worked for us, and they um, they taught us not in an age-based way, but simply they found our interests and they cultivated those and helped us pursue those and learn at our own pace, which turned out to be accelerated. Wow, Heath, you're 11, you're a freshman in college. You've got three older sisters that went to college by age 12. How did they advise you and prepare you for this? Did they give you sisterly advice? Yes, they did, and also just me seeing them go off to college made me very excited that I would maybe get to do that one day, and I did. So. And, and tell me about mom's homeschooling. I mean, where does she get her lessons, Heath? Where does she get the curriculum? Well, um, we start off just with workbooks, like for preschool and kindergarten. And then when we get on, after we know how to read, then we read uh, lessons from big textbooks. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then we just, after, we've done it any questions we have we just ask her wow so serena do you feel like you've missed out on anything as a teenager that you've gone too fast i mean do, have you ever thought about prom or playing on the <laughs> high school tennis team well i actually did get to go to a prom i went to a homeschool prom and that was a lot of fun but um i also played a lot of soccer when i was younger as soon as i started college i didn't really have time to do athletics as well as pursue my academics but I did play a lot of soccer. I had very many friends on those teams, and I've had a very well-rounded childhood, and I credit my parents for that. And, and Heath, what do you think has been the toughest thing about college so far, or are you breezing right through right now as a freshman? <laughs> well, uh, I'm taking four classes, and sometimes it can get pretty hard, but... What are the classes? I've, oh, I'm taking four classes. They're... History 101, which is Western Civilization, <laughs> um, Music Appreciation, uh, Survey of the Hebrew Scriptures, it's a religion class. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I'm also taking Principles of Microeconomics. Wow. Now, do any of the other students look at you and say, Heath, could, could you help me out here? I mean, do they look to you for advice? Do, do they, do they want to get to know you? Yes, um, they always ask me, like, hey, dude, can you do my homework? And then, <laughs> and then they lean over to their friend and they say, uh, hey, this is my study buddy right there. <laughs> That's great. And you say, well, maybe for a, a slick 20, I might be able to help you out. <laughs> no, I know you're very ethical. Now, Serena, you're 16. Um, have you thought about dating? I mean, usually at 16, you're having your first date and thinking about that. Are you? Well, um, I definitely have thought about it before, but... I really know that I would like to become a doctor, and I'm trying not to let that distract me from it. <laughs> you know what? That's a very good idea. <laughs> Heath, what about you? You're 11. You're surrounded by all these beautiful uh, college women. Are you thinking, hmm, maybe I wish I, I sort of had someone around that was my age? Well, I do have a lot of friends that are my age, and no, I, <laughs> I just... <laughs> you're not worried about it yet. No. Okay. And I've got to ask you guys this. Seriously, your entire family seems absolutely perfect. I, I can't find any anything wrong here. It, it, it's amazing. Serena, do you guys ever get in trouble? We do. We do get in trouble very often. But I think we have to credit God for what he's done in our family and how he's blessed us. Oh. He really has. Heath, what about you? Are, are you are you pretty much an angel? Come on, fess up. <laughs> no. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I know your sister wants to go to medical school. What's your goal? 
Well, um, I'm thinking about making movies and getting into media because I, it's very interesting to me. All right. You're going to come take my job? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Believe me, at the rate you're going, my friend, you will be replacing me very soon. <laughs> Heath and Serena Harding, uh, you really truly have a remarkable family. We salute your parents. Thank we you. salute Thank you. you. Thank you. We're going to follow your progress. Thank All you. right. Glad to be here today. <laughs> Great to see you both.